please go to Weebly.com in order to get started with your personal portfolio website. You're going to click on sign up and you're going to put in your first and last name along with your school email. Please use your school email and password so that you can remember it in future classes. You may be using this site for all your future art classes. Choose the United States and sign up for free and it will take you to the next site. After you've logged in, it's going to ask you what type of website you'd like to create. Just choose website, do not choose the store site. And then it's gonna take you to a bunch of different themes. So basically these are just gonna dictate what your text looks like and what the menus look like because you're gonna go in and change all the pictures. So kind of look through and see which ones that you like um, the look of, but the pictures are all gonna be swapped out. I like to choose them that have a menu across the top. Some of these, like this one, have the little um, horizontal lines to show the menu and it's a little harder to navigate, I think, on a computer. I think those are meant for um, cell phones and things like that. So I look through the business or the portfolio, um, personal, there's a lot of great ones. Just pick one that um, you like the layout of. Any of them will work. Um, I'm gonna choose this one. Do not choose event or blog or coming soon, any of that. I would stick to the first three categories. So this is a photography one, but I'm gonna end up changing it anyway. So I'm just gonna start editing. So when you start editing, the first screen it will take you to is for you to select your domain name. Your domain name is going to be the name of your website. Um, it will automatically have to have the weebly.com at the end of it in order to be free. So I'm gonna type in maybe my initials and then the word design. I wanna kinda of keep it generic because you might be taking many art classes. So you could do your first name art, your last name in gallery, um, design is a nice kind of comprehensive word. So I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna go to search. When you search, you have to look to see what is available at the bottom. You have to choose the bottom subdomain. All of these other ones are gonna take you to a payment page. So now it's that's taken, it says unavailable. So I'm gonna do, let's try Monica Design, MC Design 2. That is available, so I could go with that. I could try M Cotton or something along those lines. Art, let's try that. So try some different names, see what sounds catchy. You can always change this later. So um, hit search, that's available too. So I'm just gonna choose that. And now this says mcottonart.weebly.com. That's my website name. So um, if I click on this link, it should open it in a new window. So right now I don't have anything on my page and I haven't published it, so nothing is showing. Okay, in order to get that site live, you have to publish it. So I'm gonna press publish. And anytime like you wanna save it, I just kinda publish it so that it's live. Even if you're not done, that's okay. So um, here's my link again, I'm gonna click on it. And now you can see everything is there. Obviously this isn't my information, but this is the template that the website has given me. So I'm just gonna modify that for my own stuff. So I'm gonna go back to the editor, close this out, and continue to edit to make it customized for my own artwork. 